get no kicks from champagne. Mere alcohol doesn't thrill me at all. So tell me why that I get a kick. Do have them? No, 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 I have them. Just help me off with my coat like a good little friend. Uh, Mrs. Nogadak, any calls? Uh, only one from some lush who told me to chill some glasses. Uh, some lush? No, I mean someone other than myself. <laughs> hey, maybe he's going to call my house. Oh, don't be ridiculous, Vivian. He's calling here. Maud, I think your sensual wrists have swollen. <laughs> and pull it off over my ankles. <laughs> Yes, madam, that you let go <coughs> of the bottles. Uh, oh, see? Thank you, Mrs. Nogata. Now you know why I keep her on. <laughs> uh, Mrs. Nogata, give me the glasses. Oh, and uh, don't bother about the fruit. We brought our own. <laughs> Now, me mum, when I was with Lord and Lady Heathrow, I became quite an expert. As we say in jolly old England, you should go to a pear tree for pears, not an elm. How profound. Maybe am I drunk or is she demented? <laughs> And might I suggest, madam, that you take a jigger of olive oil before you drink any more? Oh, and what titled royalty gave you that little tip? Well, some old wino at the local post office. <laughs> oh, oh, Peter, 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 oh. Vivian, I will never forget our last night together. Oh, God, what emotion. It was 1957, and... The Yankees had just lost the World Series, or whatever it is they lose. <laughs> the pain, the pain, the bitter, sweet pain, as he packed his clothes, his socks, his bottle of black ink. <laughs> With Peter and me, it all started on the night Milwaukee won the World Series. Pay attention, Vivian, I'm talking. <laughs> We went to our restaurant, and Peter ordered snowballs for dessert. Vanilla ice cream floating in a glass of Perno. Always did that with me, too. What's the big deal? Yes, but later, Vivian, later at home, did he smear Perno on your wrists? <laughs> then come after you like an Irish setter? <laughs> You wrists, me earlobes, remember? Oh, Vivian, you're a pervert. <laughs> that was one of the things he loved about me. <laughs> seventeen years ago. Oh, come on, seventeen years ago. Hey, Ma, look at me, look at my face. Have I changed much? Yes, Vivian. <laughs> Since lunch. <laughs> Did anybody ever tell you you're a mean drunk? That's one of the things he loved about me. <laughs> oh, Vivian, I've been trying to prepare you. I've been trying to prepare you all afternoon for the fact that Peter is coming to see me, not you. Hey, wait a minute. Did you say, did you say he left you the night the Yankees lost the World Series? In that's, 1957. That is right. But that's the night Milwaukee won the World Series, and that's the night he came to me. That is a <laughs> lie. <laughs> the Yankees never played Milwaukee. Oh, who'd they play? The Republic of Panama. <laughs> How the hell do I know who they played? What am I, a football fan? <laughs> impossible that he went to you. And furthermore, I refuse to share my champagne with a neighborhood drunk. I regret, but first I'm going to tell you something. I did not tell you before because I did not want to hurt you. Peter called me last night, Maud. Me, 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 me! Long distance. 
person to person collect. <laughs> checking into the Ramada Inn tonight and would call me as soon as he got there. Me, not you. I don't believe that. That is a vicious, ridiculous lie. And I would laugh hysterically, hysterically. Except I can't get my cheeks to move. <laughs> oh, yes. Well, now, let me tell you this, Mrs. Pinky. I am now going. I am going straight to the Ramada Inn where Peter awaits me. <laughs> you will pound on the door until you get tennis elbow. And all the while, Peter will be here with me. He pissed you, that's it. <laughs> liar, liar, pants on fire, get out of here. <laughs> Jealous, evil tempered witch who cannot hold her liquor. Cannot hold my liquor. I'd like to see you get it from me. Huh? <laughs> Who? Why? Peter! Peter, I am coming to you! Peter, I am coming to you! I am coming to you! <laughs> and let me tell you one thing! If you want pears, you go to a pear tree! Because if you go to an elm tree, then... All you're going to find there are other... Uh, I'll go to hell! <laughs> flying over. No wonder the cliffs are so white. <laughs> no. 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 Oh, the, oh, the pain. The pain. Oh. What time is it? 1943. <laughs> Oh, never again. Never. Oh, Mrs. Nogatuck, I'm expecting someone. I can't let him see me like this. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Mrs. Nogatuck, have you been drinking? Of course, madam. The bottle was open. I hadn't the art to waste it. Not with all their millions of alcoholics dying of thirst in Europe. <laughs> Mrs. Nogatuck, you must pull yourself together and, and whip me up some kind of a small miracle, something halfway between a, a laxative and an aphrodisiac. Oh, make enough for two of us. And if it's any comfort, madam, think of your poor friend, Mrs. Armin. Friend? I never want to hear that woman's name mentioned in... You mentioned in this house again. Oh, that treacherous, tacky little woman who has begun hallucinating in her late forties. <laughs> That's him. That's him. That. I must go to the door. I'm. <laughs> be long in a minute. He just stopped at the drugstore. The golf tournament was called off. It rained out. Where's Vivian? <laughs> Vivian? Vivian's at home, isn't she? No. I figured she'd be spending the night over here. Poor dear. She can't bear sleeping alone for even one night. Ain't that the truth? <laughs> no, 
tell Arthur she's not here. Well, then where is she? You are not going to drag it out of me, Arthur. Wild horses couldn't get it out of me. I wouldn't crack under the Chinese water torture. She's at the Ramada Inn. <laughs> what? Arthur, 17 years ago, Peter Derlin. No, she couldn't have, she could A note, a note, Arthur, maybe she left a note. Go home, uh, look near the telephone on yes. the kitchen table. Go, Arthur, go. <laughs> Mrs. Nogatak! <laughs> Mrs. Nogatak, quickly, look up the address of the Ramada Inn. My eyes are not functioning as a team to me. <laughs> How could she go to... Oh, poor dear Arthur. He needs the sympathy of a friend. I'll go to him. Here we are. Here. Oh. oh. Well, isn't it that, then? Walking the streets, I feel so awful. What, oh. where, where did you say she was? Well, she just asked me to look up the Ramanda Inn. The Ramanda Inn? Yes, that's right, the Ramanda Inn. I don't believe you, you're lying. You're lying? Madam, I have references. <laughs> Anybody wants me, I shall be in my room. <laughs> justified in this. Even with Peter Durland, there's not a court in the world that would hold you responsible. Thank you, Vivian. You've just made my day. Where's Maud? You want a hint? You want a hint? She's at the Ramada Inn. <laughs> Maud. Vivian. Vivian. Vivian, did you go to... Oh, well, of course not. Did you? Oh. Did you? Well, of course not, You did? Vin. No. Oh. Oh, oh, you so happy you to hear that. Either. No. Oh, oh, oh lollipop. Oh, I didn't know where you were. Oh. Marty said something about the Ramada Inn. She did. And Vivian said you were at the Ramada Inn. <laughs> she didn't. What is going on? And who's Peter Darlin? Yeah, who is Peter Darlin? <laughs> Peter, Peter Durland. You hear me? They want to know who's Peter Durland. Tell them, Maud. Peter. Well, Peter Durland, if you really insist on knowing, Peter Durland is a game. That's right. It's a game, a fascinating yes. new game. Peter Durland at the Ramada Inn. By Parker Brothers. <laughs> Come on, Arthur. I'll buy you a cup of coffee. How dare you tell my husband that I was at the Ramander Inn with Peter Durland? Well, what about you? You told my husband the same thing. Well, that's different. With you, it's totally unbelievable. <laughs> Hello, I'm Peter Durland. <laughs> Mr. Peter Morland! 